proteins. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to pull some of the thoughts I got from yesterday from some of our great speakers. Wasn't that a great day? Wow. Um, and I want to just encapsulate a little bit in my feelings about how they work in, at the street level. So one thing I will tell you this. When we talk, when Lori talks about the Predix, and I tell you that I thank the day I met the lady. You know, because it made my job easier. You know, when we had problems in businesses and we couldn't understand, and Lori, I'll harken back to Chris, uh, Chris Nosman, and we had a problem because we couldn't understand why one of Mark's well-trained Belfour employees couldn't perform inside our company. Um, we had to find out where the, where the disconnect was, didn't we? We found out the disconnect was an employee who really had animosity towards a young boss that was seeing such success. <coughs> Lori showed us that on her pre-deck scan. And we were in a pretty difficult position because the boss, the owner, wasn't going. So we had to deal with it. But she pointed out where the issue lied. Because how can you be doing $4 million a year at one company and come to our company and we're giving them the work and it just doesn't get done? Nothing, nothing seems to get done. So what I found was is that the, the perception sometimes that people have if they refer people to you or you, interview them and they tell you a good story, sometimes the ones that we have the greatest expectations for, there will be, be the ones that drop the furthest. So do your job and do it well and, and I hate to be 